Shani, I remember the good old days when Nintendo used to have Nintendo Directs. Y'all remember those? <laughs> That's right, what's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? How? Oh, y'all doing this is the last Nintendo Direct we had all the way back in September of 2019 it's been ages y'all like the beard bro I cut my beard during the intro before you get started with this video give it a thumbs up like 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 we have some dope a couple of dope gaming news items for this video um, including PlayStation 5 shocker, bro. This could have Sony nervous or it could not. We're gonna talk about it. But first, 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 oh, remind me at the end of this video that I'm gonna announce the giveaway. All right, I'm gonna do it live. I'm probably gonna forget by the time the end of this video comes. But I'm gonna do the giveaway. And if you don't win this month, next month, I'm gonna have another giveaway. All right, so you gotta subscribe and follow me on Twitter to get in the giveaway. Nintendo's global president, Shintaro Furukawa, he spoke on the next Nintendo Direct. And he said that <coughs> Nintendo Directs are, uh, are an especially effective means of conveying new game content and announcement to fans. So he does admit that Nintendo Directs are effective, but when will be the next one, Nintendo? This is what he says after that, though. However, more effective means may become available in the future, and they may consider what is the best way to bring about new information to fans. And so, when it comes to Nintendo Directs, he said that they're effective, but he says he admits that there are that more effective means may come about to do it. This is my opinion on when we're going to have the next Nintendo Direct. A good while from now. I don't think it's happening anytime soon. This is what I think Nintendo is experimenting with. How they did Paper Mario Origami King. This could have very well been included and be a big announcement at the end of a Nintendo Direct. They chose to just shadow drop a trailer. Um, just a trailer, not just a short trailer, but an extent, about a five minute or so, um, ex explanation, explanation of the game, and it had pretty good reception. So, I think, for example, heavily rumored, heavily rumored, Mario, um, 3D remakes are coming to the Switch this year, and I think that's going to be their holiday competition against um, PlayStation and Xbox. I think it's a little lame, especially if they're just um, upscaled remake, uh, upscale games, same same exact games. But um, I think when it, they do the, t it's time for those Mario remakes. We may not get a full direct, according to this statement, and Nintendo would just boom. Here's the trailer from Mario 64. We know you bought the game four times already on four different Nintendo consoles. But hey, you got 20 more dollars. You can spend a little bit more. Buy the same game. And so that's what I think Nintendo might do um, uh, when it comes to Nintendo Directs. Time will tell. But this next gen news, the Xbox Lockhart versus the PlayStation 5 right now, bro. Tons of information has leaked about uh, Microsoft's next console and how it stacks up to the PlayStation 5. I'm going to share the information and I'm going to share my thoughts. <coughs> it's now being reported the Xbox Series S, codenamed Lockhart, the less powerful console, has a faster CPU than the PlayStation 5 and it also supports ray tracing. 
This is um um Twitter account from Tom Warren, um, and he's replying to those saying that the Xbox Lockhart would hold back the next gen. The Lockhart CPU is faster than the PlayStation 5, he says. Lockhart supports ray tracing. Game developers have been building PC titles for multiple GPUs for decades. And so the big thing is the Lockhart will have a faster CPU than the PlayStation 5. Now, is it a more powerful console than the PlayStation 5? Not even close. It's only going to have four teraflops, which is less than half of what the PlayStation 5 will be able to crank out. And so the point of saying it has a fast CPU is it's going to have the same CPU as the Xbox Series X. That's what it's reported to have. <coughs> the GPU will be smaller, lower. The overall teraflops will be significantly lower, only four teraflops. But it has more modern tech. Is it going to be able to complete head to head with the PlayStation 5? No. But Microsoft is doing this as an alternate price point for consumers. And here's the stickler. The Xbox Series um, S, codenamed Lockhart, is now rumored to be revealed in August and launching shortly after. The Xbox Lockhart could be the first next-gen console on the market at a low price point. It could steal some of the market share, but at the end of the day, it's going to come down to the games. And um, that's where Sony delivered. I mean, delivered on the games. For me, Microsoft, Microsoft, Microsoft has to have a Ratchet and Clank type game this game sold the playstation 5 perfectly it looked beautiful it next gen this look um, um digital found was saying that this looked better than the ratchet and clank movie the animated movie the game just looked beautiful and how it utilized the solid state drive the ssd it comes down to the games man i think microsoft really 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 has to deliver on the games for me and but I, and I keep saying it I get every console every generation I don't know what my switch controller is um, but my Xbox One X six teraflops is it six teraflops yes I know I, just, I know it's at least six teraflops so the raw computing power is more powerful than the Xbox Lockhart I know what you guys are already typing the tech the architecture I know the Xbox Series S has more modern te tech as they has a solid state drive ray tracing all that stuff but i want to see how the games run compared to my xbox one x before <laughs> i start to consider a next gen microsoft console if all of the games are still playable on my xbox one x i might be good for one or two years so time will tell time will tell all right dudes that's it for this video what do you guys think about everything uh, we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know what my phone you go Where, where's my bro bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out Bye. oh ha giveaway oh, rewind we ride time for the giveaway we got to do the giveaway got to do the giveaway we're gonna do this live I'm gonna go to my Twitter right now I'm gonna put up my Twitter for you guys all right I'm gonna go to my pinned message my pinned message all right here it is we're doing this live all right pinned message is the June giveaway and again if you don't win this month you next month I'm, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna do it next month I, I, I'm gonna hold off I'm gonna see I might announce the next giveaway in about a week or so but here's the giveaway for June, for June, for June. I'm going to scroll, scroll up, down, all right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booyah! 7 up at Super 7 up. You are the giveaway winner. 
I'm gonna follow I'm gonna give you a temporary follow I'm gonna give you a temporary follow to send you a DM to let you know you're the winner you could choose between an Xbox Nintendo switch or PlayStation $60 digital code congratulations dude um, I'm gonna announce the next giveaway in about a week in the meantime make sure you're subscribed to the channel follow me on Twitter we lit boy I'll see you guys later we out deuces outro you still watching this video that means you like me you really like me I gotta hook you up that's right I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice Xbox Nintendo or PlayStation two ways to enter one make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube two follow me on twitter at obi one plays and that's it you're in for the giveaway but wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later deuces